Go ahead, Grant. Coach, we, we talked pregame just how important it was to, to get into jaw and keep them out of, out of the paint. Just, just how much do you feel that that was a factor tonight? It was not. We did not do a very good job of that tonight. You know, he, he was very comfortable, got to his spots on the floor where he needed to be. Uh, and again, us being physical and finding heat and getting into the basketball, we, we'll have to do a much better job of that moving forward. Jamal, what makes it, you know, we talked about the pregame, what makes it so difficult to not just keep job, but this entire Memphis team out of the paint? You know, he does a great job of getting into the lane by his setups in the pick and roll, uh, the angles in which Adam sets the screens, understanding that, you know, he's rolling down in there. So you got to worry about him on tags and they do a great job of their spacing on the floor. So it gives Ja room again. So it's, it's the difference maker of when you pick him up versus if you drop back, if you drop back too far, he's got a runway to the lane. If you pick up too far, he's getting, you're getting hit on a screen and he's got a runway to the lane. So a lot of that is just his craftiness, his, his basketball IQ of understanding where to be on the floor. And he did, he did a great job of that, that tonight. Uh, Coach, we saw Terrence on the floor tonight for for just ten minutes, and I don't believe we saw him in the second half. Is, is he healthy? Was there was there an injury tonight, or was it just kind of the flow of the game and how things went? No, Terrence is healthy. It's a little bit of the flow of the game, and I started thinking about you know as the game was going where it was. You know, we play tomorrow, um, and I just wanted to kind of look at some of these young guys going and feeling you know what what this team was doing um, out there. And so again, it, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with you. Coach, you saw so, so much of the, the team, you know, make progress in terms of execution and, 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 and those elements, uh, you know, outside of the, you know, not getting into jaw, what, what did you see as some of the, the areas tonight uh, as key factors? Offensive rebounding, uh, you know, they, they crushed us on the glass. Uh, obviously, they had 16 offensive rebounds. Uh, you talk about their second chance points. They have 23 second chance points, 68 points in the paint. They did a lot of things, you know, that just, uh, you know, physical competing and hitting. Again, this is, you know, credit to them that, you know, they're, they're, they're on a roll. They're, they're playing well right now again. And, you know, this is a little bump for us, but again, the great part about the league is that you get to bounce right back tomorrow uh, and figure out exactly what you need to fix and go get after it again against Boston tomorrow night. Coach, back, back here. Uh, kind of on those lines, you know, you have a game, tomorrow night right, right after this game was there kind of was that kind of like the idea going into this game you had to kind of think about you know you have a game right now and a game tomorrow and then what was your message to the players after this game tonight going into Boston tomorrow well a little bit of that you know you, you go after the game one at a time uh you know you talk about that prior to the game but then as you see you know what's going on throughout the game you want to understand that guys you don't want anyone to get hurt uh you know but you also want to make sure we're competing until that buzzer goes off and that second unit that came in they you know they scrapped and they battled and they were trying to continue to fight again but I like I say that's the great part about the league and, and, and you get a chance to make up for what you didn't do the night before and our guys you know will and we always have taken on the challenge night in and night out competing uh on a, on a regular basis. So I think, you know, just looking at the film, we'll show some things and then get ready to play Boston tomorrow. Anything else for Coach Mosley? All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. Go ahead, Dan. Cool, Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Obviously, you know, when you're playing the, the Grizzlies, it's critical to get into the ball and keep those guys out of, out of the paint. Just, just how much do you feel that was an issue tonight against the Grizzlies? Um, I mean, I think that was one of many things, among many things that was an issue. I mean, they, they were just, they were super comfortable against us tonight, just super comfortable. They got whatever they want. They're having fun. You know, it's, 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 it's embarrassing. Cool. Uh, you guys have been one of the better teams at protecting the paint uh, throughout the season. I guess what does Memphis do or what does the job do specifically to just make it, I guess, so easy for them? I mean, look, John Moran, he's a heck of a player. He he, he going to get into that paint one way or another. And I mean, with him out there and then Steven Adams, who probably, I mean, I think we took like a poll. He probably the, the strongest dude in the league setting those screens, you know, it's difficult. But just, you know, it's on us. We got to just do a better job just trying to. Uh, uh, not let the offense dictate, but instead letting our defense dictate, you know, what they get um, for their offense. So we just, somebody's going to get back in the lab and just, you know, just kind of game plan on, work on, and then but we got a game tomorrow, so we can go and try to adjust that, join immediately tomorrow. You said it yourself uh, throughout the game or just now that this was embarrassing for you guys. I guess what was the conversations like in the locker room or even the huddles uh, as the game starts to wind down? Uh, no, nah, this is, I mean, this is, I mean, we we a few of the players talked. Um, Mike Carter, Will, 
Mo Wagner, you know, kind of just saying, like, yo, this is a game that we got to remember for, for for a long time. You know, like some like maybe potentially even like five years down the line. It's just like, yo, kind of like, man, they really, they was in there just punking us. And so just something we just got to remember for the future, just kind of use this motivation to get better as a team. Cole, Chris Cuff for 24 Flicks. Do you think this guy, this game is a check for you guys to see where you are with the NBA and how much, how much more work you guys got to do? And not to get too comfortable with the wins that have been coming. Um, yeah, I think it was a nice little reality check, you know, kind of just uh, letting us know that you know we really still haven't we we haven't really accomplished anything yet. I mean, we got a, a few wins, which is honestly it was cool, but as you, know, you can't let our highs get too high, can't let our lows get too low either. So we can't come here and get depressed about this loss. At this, so we got another game tomorrow. We got to focus on that. But I mean, definitely w- was probably a good thing for us. Nice little eye opener. And so we can get back to reality and, you know, try to get another win tomorrow. Cole, piggybacking off that, you know, back here, you're trying well, to. I, I thought you were standing on that table for a second. Oh, yeah. I, like... <laughs> I could. Uh, uh, you know, you guys suffer an embarrassing loss today, but you get to come back again tomorrow. How long do you let this game stew in your mind before you really put it behind you and focus on the Celtics? Um, what time is it right now? 742. I'll probably be here till about like 930, 915. And by the time I leave the gym, I, I'll, probably, I'll probably be it. I probably won't think about this game again for a long time. And so I just, you know, go home, get some rest, get ready for tomorrow. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Cole. Yep.